Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video, and this video is going to be another installment in my Earth to Phobos video that's actually since been revised because I had the sudden realization in the last video that what I was trying to do just isn't going to be possible due to the fact that I gave myself such a tight DV budget that once I get to Mars and do the arrow braking arrow capture maneuver, I'm not going to have enough fuel to actually rendezvous with Phobos. So the revised version of the flight is now that we're going to go to Mars, land probably at Olympus, maybe. But on the way into Mars, we're going to try to time our arrival so that we have a nice look at Phobos. That's the best I can do. So off camera, I did a little bit of additional t tinkering with the plan. Got the minimum altitude to Mars down to about 14 kilometers. And the closest approach to Phobos is what you see here, about 200 and something. It's dancing all over the place. Now, this will probably have to be refined yet again because we are still a ways out from Mars. And as we all know by now, Transex just isn't that accurate. So, let's look at the uh, target. We are going to do this for a mere eight meters per second but let's uh, view over to maneuver and just get everything up to date before we commit so update and reset and we're still looking as good as we're going to look so rotation let's uh and, and while we're doing this we'll figure out how to rotate again so view to the maneuver so outward is going to be seven so we're going to need to be left of center that's for certain and plane change is showing positive so we're going to be need to be pitched slightly down because this is backwards and we need to be prograde so we're almost actually where we need to be let's uh, VW then to the target so we need to bank uh, translation rotation we need to yaw just a little to the left and a little down and that's actually where the X is at left and down Okay, so let me put in a little bit of time warp here to speed up the things. So, okay, we're too far down at this point. So let's take out the, that movement. And just bear with me while that X rotates into the center position. I have to be very, very careful not to use a bunch of DV on these rotations. Okay, now we need to rotate slightly up. Yeah. Okay, all right, we're in position basically and it only took us 190 seconds instead of 2,000 seconds, so we're getting better. So let's view over to maneuver and uh, reset the date. And do a maneuver update. And everything is still good. So once again, I will bring up burn time calculator. Because the most efficient way to do any burn is to use the full power of the main engines. And if I do this manually, I'll not be as efficient so let's burn it 7.933 there it is and maneuver mode off and now let's let's first of all let's update burn time calculator so we have 23.2 so we got 130 meters per second left Cutting it pretty close. And let's bring up TransX. And uh, that didn't go so well, but uh, we can probably translation. fix that with just a tiny bit of translation. You can see that's bringing the closest approach down and bringing our minimum altitude down. And 
that's pretty good. Let's uh something like that. All right, now we need to warp time forward. How far out are we? Encounter MJD58432, and we're at 366. So we've got uh, still a bit to go, two or three months. Warp time forward and cry as all this completely falls apart. Actually, before I warp time forward anymore, let me control S to save right after that maneuver. And going forward. And a 6 6. So let's go to 5 8 400 at least. Ugh, it's sickening how far off that is. Out to 100,000. And we'll do another mid-course correction at about 58, 400. Maybe even go farther in than that, we'll see. But we'll go at least that far. Okay, we're at 58, 400. You can see from the time we did the last maneuver until now, and it now has us encountering on the other side, and that's just not gonna work. So let's carefully, let's warp time forward for a few days, and we'll just kind of see what's happening here. So we still got, you know, 30 days out. Bring up Orbit MFD real quick and reference Mars. Yeah, we're not even in the weak SOI. I'm probably, yeah, we don't get into the weak SOI of Mars till we're like hours out. So let's uh, bring up Transex again. Minimum altitude is holding a lot better than the closest approach to Phobos. Um, let's go forward a little bit farther. Okay, we are 20 days, something like that, so let's do another maneuver. Maneuver mode on. Activate dinotherms, power cells connected, something in for cells, go. Go, go, Voltron force. All right, view to... View to maneuver. Let me do this. Transex does weird stuff, so like when I went forward into the other stage and carried maneuver with it, then turned maneuver mode on in that stage, it could hold it, so I just wanted to make sure I shut that off in the other stage. Anyway, view maneuver. And let's uh, check burn time calculator too, since we've burned some more locks. 136. All right, prograde. Not prograde because we're pretty well in plane, sort of. Start with outward. Okay, so go this way with the outward. That's four meters a second now. Grade. Other way.
retrograde. Yikes, timing's all messed up. Update. Okay, now it's coming around to the other side. What's the total cost here? 14. Okay, back to outward. I really don't want to fly by Phobos and have a polar orbit to Mars, though, which is what I'm showing right now. Hopefully we can work with the variables and figure out how not to do that. I think I should have started this mid-course correction sooner. Because now I'm close enough to Phobos that, or close enough to Mars that things are, the timing is getting harder and harder to work out. All right, let's uh, update. Okay, that part's looking reasonable. Okay, let's take out a bunch of, let's go that way with the outward now back to, prograde. That's what we need. Right now we can get rid of some of that outward, uh, go back closer to zero. Now take out some of that prograde maybe, yep. Let's actually overshoot it this way a bit, that way we can take out some more outward. Okay, we're getting about where we need to be then. All right. Uh, a little bit of plane change. Oh, that's not really doing anything. In fact, let me reset that variable. The let the fewer variables I have to adjust, the the easier it is to understand. Do an update. Reset the date. So, go a bit more negative into the negative here. And a bit farther into the positive there. That's getting us closer to Phobos. Still at a really steep angle though at the moment. So outward. A little bit of plane change helps a lot. Okay, now I really got to bring my altitude down. Okay, so plus prograde brings the altitude down. Plane change is helping bring the altitude down. That's good to know. Okay, 
So let's do this. Let's take out some prograde, because that's bringing the closest approach to Phobos down. Let's add in some plane change. Now we are perfectly at a right angle to the line of nodes, which is not what I want. Outward. Um, yeah, let's go further into the negative on the outward. And then come back with plane change, maybe? No, prograde. Darn it. It's bringing the minimum altitude down, which is what I need, but it's raising the closest approach. And I, the whole point here is to get a nice close pass of Phobos on the way in. Reset the date. Let me overshoot the plane change in this direction. Now as we put in positive prograde, it's bringing down the altitude, but not necessarily the closest approach. But it looks like if we keep going into the negative on the plane change, maybe. Total cost of 31. All right, let's reset a couple of variables and let's actually just reset everything, start over. Okay, so we have to catch Phobos over here because we don't know how much velocity we're going to lose. Like if we want to do like an arrow sling type of thing. Let's start with outward this time. See, this would have me coming... I would be, Phobos would be going this way, and I would be going that way, and I don't really want that. See, my inclination's backwards. Okay, let's do this. Let's say we're going to slow things down, because we're throwing ourselves out of the orbit. Okay, now let's speed things up with prograde. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. See, we can get the we can get a good flyby of Phobos, but if we do, we're gonna miss Mars, so it doesn't do us any good. I mean, the other option would be to go ahead and do our arrow breaking at Mars just to get captured. No more, but you know, 
just barely get captured, then we could go around Mars as many times as was necessary to finally get an, a, an encounter with Phobos, but that sucks. I don't want to do it that way. All right, well, um, only at 20 minutes at this part of the video, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it here because I'm going to fiddle with this, and I'm sure it's this just this part just definitely isn't interesting to watch. So uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and keep this part for the fanatics that actually do like to watch everything, but I'm going to basically continue what I'm doing here off camera until I come up with the, either something that works or until I decide that it's not going to work and I'm just going to go to Mars, or until I decide the heck with it, and I'm done for the day. So if you like this part of the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the don't like button. All the usual stuff. Subscribe, Facebook page. See you in the next video.